your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Isaiah 58, 12, NIV. Welcome to Outreach Connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and power of Jesus Christ. Welcome again, my friends, to another edition of the Outreach Connection. I'm Dr. Pepper, shaking the salt. And you know, we are to be the salt and light. So even though I say that kind of as a little quip, I really am blessed when I get to have a guest. That's a poetry circle there. I am blessed to have a guest who is very dandy. His last name's Peterson. The first name is Randy. <laughs> and folks, if you have been looking for a good school, a Christian school, for your young'uns, whether they are little young'uns or big young'uns, I have some good news for you today. This is the perfect timing for you to get in on the last opportunity for a free quarter. And I don't mean a quarter like this, I mean a quarter of school. And Randy Peterson is the man that can help you from Quincy Christian School. Thanks, Randy, for being Thank you. with me. Thank you for having me. I can't believe it's been two years. Yeah, it's My been a while. goodness, since I saw you, but you've been here in Quincy at Quincy Christian for how long? Four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. So your group that just graduated and yay, school's out for summer, <laughs> <laughs> um, you get to now have the opportunity to see those graduate that started in ninth grade with you, right? Yes, they did. Wow. In fact, this year though in the school, we had our first graduate that went from Quincy Christian School from four year, uh, from kindergarten all the way through 12th oh, grade that is and great. we gave her we gave her a special plaque at I graduation this past Saturday so that's the first one first time it's been possible yes and so now it is possible though so folks that want a good Christian right. school K through 12 come on over that's exactly right we're non-denominational yes we have uh, students from over 20 different churches isn't here that amazing in the Quincy area and, uh, and very good. We have high quality academics. Uh, we took our Stanford Achievement Test, yes. which is the same one the public schools did, and we were in the top 30% as a school it. composite. And, and we had some students that were in, in the top 3%. Oh my goodness. And uh, so we have small classrooms. It's easy for the teachers to work one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah with the students. And that is so important because one mm -hmm. of the as assets of that and having come from the public schools where I often had as many right. as 32 kids, as great you know as the school may be, as wonderful as the teachers may be, you're really getting a child that's kind of mm -hmm. teaching themselves and has no input you know personally. Sure. Now the difference that you I, ac have. I, I accepted Christ uh, my junior year in high school way back in the 70s okay. and uh, and I had 960 in my graduating class. Wow. And uh, so I, under I understand classroom sizes mm -hmm. and, and so forth but the difference is everything we do is scriptural based. Mm. We use Christian textbooks yes. in math and in history and in science. You tell the truth. Things are taught wow. from a Christian perspective, Love from it. God's word. Yes. Plus, they need to. Uh, the high schoolers have to take Bible class mm -hmm. uh, and pass that, just like they do any other academic class, oh, to uh, and pass for the year. Mm. Um, we had four graduates yes. on Saturday, yes. and uh, two are going to go to Hannibal LaGrange All right. Christian University Good. over yeah. here in Hannibal. Sure. Uh, one is going to work for a year and then hasn't decided if he wants to go to college or go into the military, Okay. And uh, which is, is fine too. Yeah, sure. And uh, one's just going to join the family business, which, oh, is also, which is also fine. Well, you know, that's really a but, good composite of those four graduates too, because that shows they each have purpose. They each know that they have this biblical foundation and they have Christ exactly, at the center of it. That's exactly right. That's awesome. Um, and we, the, probably the most interesting thing that happened this year, we had two high school girls that transferred in from another private school mm -hmm. and uh, uh, both of them accepted the Lord as their Savior this year Thank in our God. school. Oh. Uh, one back in October and one in November. <sighs> Is it a prerequisite and, uh, that they are 
either in a, a school, a Christian school, or is it a prerequisite that they have trusted in Christ as their Savior? Uh, not necessarily, okay. but we want the parents to, at least one of the parents, to know Christ as their Savior Good. Good. and be attending a local church Good. somewhere. Excellent. Uh, we are non-denominational. With as over I 20 before, churches with represented. With over 20 different churches represented. Wow. Uh, but, you know, sometimes we have parents who come in and they're, they're frustrated uh, by either the, uh, the philosophy mm -hmm. in public schools, mm -hmm. the, the earthly humanistic mm -hmm. philosophy, or they're frustrated just by the size and sure. they, can't, they don't feel like their child is getting the individual attention mm -hmm. that they need. Um, they're frustrated for a variety of reasons, or they could be frustrated on what they were teaching in science class uh -huh. or, or, uh -huh. or something else that goes against their family beliefs. Sure. Or movies uh, that they can or, show in the classroom. Or these movies days. they can oh, yeah. show, or literature that they can read, or mm -hmm. novels that they can read, and, yep. and, and so forth. And they, most, most families, most parents really want their child to be taught good morals. Of course they do. Good, good Christian morals. And of course, we base it on the Word of God right. and with the scriptures. Um, so uh, God has been good to us. We've oh, been, we've been growing. You. We're up about 30%. 30% in four, in in four, four years, years that you've been when, there. Um, when the average Christian school nationwide, about 70% of them are either down or stayed the I same know. the past four years. Um, well, I know that you give God the glory, but I want a few amen. kudos to go to you, too, because oh. as the overseer and one who has to be, you know, responsible, you know, the buck stops here. <laughs> Even though this is Quincy, we're talking, you know, yeah. that, that really is the accountability factor. Well, it takes a lot of teamwork. It, well, you sure. Know, the board has to, uh, they're, they're behind us, and uh, they back us, and, and your takes board's a lot of prayer. Elected. Our board is elected by our parents' right. association. Now there's the difference. And uh, and they have to be a parent themselves. Good. Or they have to have if they have children of school age, they have to have their children in our school. Good. That's good. Um, and they have to be born again. Oh, you yeah. know, Christians. Oh, yeah. As does all of our staff. Sure. All of our staff this year. You know, they're all certified teachers. They all have their yes. de their degree in education. Excellent. And uh, and so we've been expanding a little bit. And, Got any um, openings? Teacher-wise? Uh, just one right now, ah. and I've got three interviews set up for Ooh. two weeks from now, uh, just for part-time. Part-time elementary all, or high school? Or elementary. What? Okay. All of the uh, full-time positions have been taken. Okay, good. And, uh, well, somebody so, might be watching that right now is looking for a part-time job, or maybe there is a frustrated public school teacher out there that's saying, I don't even want to work. Maybe you're thinking of resigning. What about part-time in a godly Christian school? There you go. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, this is something that you don't think of in this day and age that when you send your child to school that they're also getting God's Word you don't that's think right. of that most people do not have that option that's now the di do. that's the difference okay. a and uh, you know of course the Christian school movement really got rolling back in the 70s mm -hmm. and the 80s because people realized that they felt a decline in our culture right and, and in America in the moral standings yes. and, and that's still going on today all sure. you have to do is look around yes our, our morals and our culture is under attack oh the worst ever uh, from inside and outside exactly and uh, so so, you know, not that all of our kids are perfect. They're oh, human, no, they're, too. They're, yeah. they're sinners just like we are. Yes, yes. You know, but uh, at least they get the good biblical training it. and they deal. we deal with that from... And I had asked you if there was a scripture on. that fit in your school and, of course, train up a child in the way... And in, in the way they should go. When they're old, they will not depart right. from it. Um, there's many scriptures. And when the student is finished, he should be like their teacher. Amazing. And uh, Amazing. so everything we do is based on the Word of God. You can't go and, wrong uh, with that. You plus, we have the quality academics. That. We have athletics. We have uh, fine arts. We wow. put on a dinner theater every oh, year. Oh, wow. Which is a catered meal and a full length drama play that's Excellent. a Christian based play, but you know. So you can't say, as often people say, well, they're not getting the full impact of, you know, a good school education. Do you ever get any no. homeschooling kids to come to you? Uh, yes, once in a while. Okay, I was we, say. We've had homeschoolers come and take one or two classes. Sure, sure. Most, most likely in the upper level. Okay. More so. 
I'm thinking um, maybe some parents that have been homeschooling their children, say through fourth, fifth, sixth grade, and now they're thinking, well, you know, I would like them to interact and get mm -hmm. a biblical, biblically based program. Yeah. That would well, be we good. love the homeschoolers. Yeah. Now. I'm, uh, oh, I, can't, I, do I too. can't argue with it. Sure, but okay. I know that I've had friends that have said, but I can't teach them calculus, and I know they're getting right. it online, but you know, this. Advanced so, math, trig, advanced algebra, math. algebra, algebra two, chemistry, And you have chemistry, a teacher that's physics. good in that? Yep, Good. chemistry, physics. Oh, I know. And uh, <laughs> so the Lord has sent us a wonderful staff. Great. Um, they're very, like I said, they're all Christians. Yes. They're all, um, they're all family That's oriented, excellent. family excellent. people. And uh, uh, one of the things we do is if a child starts to fall behind, uh -huh. about two times if they haven't turned in their homework, that teacher's on the phone calling that parent or emailing that parent. And see, you can't do that when you have six stay, classes of 30 yeah, children. Staying wow. on top of them and letting them know, uh, what, you know what's going on. It's really hard to fall through the cracks there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> and speaking is. of that, tell them of your beautiful facility. Oh, the Lord was very good to us. Yes. Uh, we moved into um, a, a very nice facility on the corner of 10th and Spruce. 10th and Spruce. Uh, Grandview Church has been very gracious to us. They were out of space at their other, their other building, and they moved yes. and bought, purchased this uh, this whole facility. It takes up the church and the school building takes up a whole block. Wow! And uh, and they invited us very graciously to come along and host the school. And they've been Wonderful. very good. We have a good relationship with them, but we're not yeah. sponsored by sure. any one church. Sure, it's just they've just been very nice facility. to us. Yeah. And uh, we have a great facility. We still have four classrooms downstairs that we don't even utilize. So you could still expand. We, we could still expand Great. and still grow. So if the Lord wants to send them our way sure. and uh, they on. fit in, we'll, we're, we're willing to train more. Yes. And I know that you do invite people to come and view and take you know a, a tour of the facility mm -hmm. to hear all about your school, meet the teachers. Yep. yep. Anytime. They can call the school at 217-223-5698. Let's give we'll that again. Two, and it's two, on the screen. I think we're going to put it up there. 217 Two two three five two, two, three. six nine eight. There it is. Okay. And uh, we will mail them out an information packet. Good. Or they can call and set up an appointment to Good. take a tour and pick up the information packet when they're at the school. Sure. I'll be glad to give them a tour of the facilities mm -hmm. and we'll talk about the school. Yes. And. Um, so God has been very good to us. Excellent, uh, excellent. Um, Christian education. If you study national charts, our education was nationwide mm -hmm. now was declining at a rapid rate back mm -hmm. in the 60s and 70s. Right, after and they took the, God out. And then when the Christian school movement started, mm -hmm. they've kind of leveled off. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of really good people in the public schools. Absolutely. I, 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 I know it. I was very good one. people. Yes. I, well, and a lot of good staff members. Mm -hmm. and very caring and very loving. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're, they're probably overworked. Their class sizes are too large. Mm -hmm. They can't handle, you know, some of them can't handle it. You're right. And uh, so we we make sure that they get the love of God and get a quality <laughs> academics, and they also get the individual attention that they need. What is your ratio of teaching to students? Uh, right now, it's about ten to one. Ah, oh, can you imagine? Somewhere in that area. Can you even imagine? Mm -hmm. That is just amazing. That is so good. The largest class, uh, the largest class we have is fifteen wow. right now. Wow. With one teacher. So. And what would that be? What? That's first and second. That's first and second, obviously, with mm -hmm. the little ones coming in. And that mm -hmm. is amazing because many kindergarten teachers say, well, we think we should set the class limit at 25. That's all we can handle. And now you've got mm -hmm. 10. That is amazing. No, we only had nine, I think, this past That's year in great. kindergarten. So. That is great. Now, let's mention the special that you have. If you call before midnight tonight for only $9.95, <laughs> no, it's not like that. <laughs> no, uh, we are running a special, and this is last year we will run it, that if you register before July, July 1st, okay. and if you're qualified, uh, if, you, if your family's qualified, you may receive a free quarter of tuition. Normally our tuition payments start the 1st of August. Okay. You would not owe any tuition until the 1st of November. Wow, that's uh, nice. And this will be the last year that we that we run that that's special. We, we want them to come. Um, I so, have seen parents that have said it's worth it for me to cut back in some area to have less, you know, not go out once or twice a week to eat, to be able to send my child to a godly Christian. That's school. right. Absolutely. Yeah. Your children are one of your best investments. I that's mean, right. And you, you only you get need, them for a certain you time. You only get them, and the Bible is very clear about who's responsible yes. for educating them. That's right. Um, 
So we do have that special. We have two different tuition plans. Okay. Uh, one is income based. Yes. So there's no more excuse to say I can't afford it. There you go. Good. Good. <laughs> and, kind and, of on a sliding and scale. And one is full tuition. And even then, we have ways to reduce full tuition. Okay. Uh, we have uh, work hours, which oh. you can receive discounts for. Ah. Parent work hours. Good. We have a refer a friend program that once you're accepted, if you oh. refer a brand new first time family. Uh -huh. Uh, and they are accepted and both families are, are in good standing and their students are in good standing, you can receive a 10% discount of the new family's tuition that you wow, refer. Wow, that's and nice. And that's unlimited to our current that's families. Excellent. So if you refer 10 families, mm. you're getting 10% from each one of them, you're virtually coming free. That is great. And so there, there's other ways to reduce sure, it. Sure, absolutely. But, uh, you know, we, we encourage parent involvement. Yep, God will and, make a way. And we, we, we want the parents to come and be involved. We want the parents to come and help serve hot lunch and, yes. and clean up after lunch. We want parents to be involved in our PTF. Excellent. Same as PTA, but we call it PTF for Parent Teacher Fellowship. I love it. And, That's great. Uh, so, Un unbelievable the difference that it can make. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have seen such progress. Do you have any idea, um, cost-wise, where you rank with other Christian schools? Tuition wise, about the same. Yeah, we're about the same. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit cheaper than okay. than some. Okay. Uh, depending on which school they're coming from. And ranking uh, wise, scholastically, like you said, you're in the academic. Yes. 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 And you're in thirty percent. Was that what it was? We're in the top thirty. Top thirty percent. As I a school love it. composite. Okay. From our Stanford Achievement Test scores. That is great. Um, one one thing I will tell you about one thing that's excited that we're praying for. Okay. If God supplies the funds, okay. we would like to start a, like an individual learning lab. Oh. Where um, we we've got a teacher in mind, especially a teacher who has her yes. degree in special education, Good. and uh, where if a student is several years ahead in a certain subject area. Area or several years behind in a certain subject area, when it comes time for that class, they can go to the individual learning lab yes. and work individually on the computer. I love it. I love it. With that teacher guiding them wow. two or three times a week so they could go. But, you know, then again, it, that takes money. So, But when the Lord's ready, he will supply. And you know what? Let's really pray for that, too, because that's sometimes the one thing that keeps a parent with, say, a child who has a learning disability or a child that has a right. special need. Sometimes that's, you know, they say, well, I need the public school because they have the special education programs. Mm -hmm. But God deals individually right. and specially with each well, of Well, it's children. not just for that. If it's a student, if we have a freshman who's ready for trig. Sure. The other <laughs> you know, end, the gifted it, program. It, the yeah. gifted program. Excellent. And we can combine them all at once. Well, you have to start somewhere. You and sure that's, do. And that's where we, that's right. we would like to get that started. And mm. God's capable if he he's in it. He can do know. it. He not only owns the cattle on a thousand hills, That's he owns right. the hills that the cattle stand on. <laughs> Last time I read the scriptures. So. I love it. I love it. And yeah. what's the other? He can make a way when there is no way. And yeah. our God is big enough and he will do it. Well, he did it for the building, so he's he, That's he can do it for this too. Oh, I know our Pastor Tom, who's our resident fellow here at the station, mm -hmm. um, used to be the pastor there for 10 years, he said. At Grandview. At mm -hmm. Grandview. Mm -hmm. And the thing that he just said about this facility is it's just absolutely gorgeous. So this is not, nice. you know, this is not a little rinky-dinky school that has to be out in the country in a little farm shed. Right. <laughs> Nothing against those. A lot of people started right. in one-room schools. But I know that you're blessed with the building. You're blessed with your staff. You're blessed with... So I'm sure that other people watching that maybe have their children gone would say, you know what, this would be a school where I could sow some seed into that for kids coming behind. Yeah. You wouldn't turn it down, would you? No, no. Uh, just for some background information, our school started in 1997 and it started in a house. There you in go. In a two-story house. A two-story house. <laughs> See, and, and look so, what God has done. Oh, God has been just uh, amazing. He has blessed us mm. in so many ways mm. by providing qualified staff, with salvations, with new families, mm -hmm. with very dedicated staff and school board and members parents. and parents what more who can support you, us. You do not hear this, I'm sorry, from <laughs> public school these days. I've right. been speaking around the country and I'm hearing we need money, we need time, we're, our staff is low morale, they're just, you know, they're overworked, they're under, and you're not hearing that here. 
your staff right. is happy and content and you're able to keep up with the happy for the most part okay. I'm sure there's days they're not real happy with me but <laughs> well you have to be no like they're, I said, they're, the they're very supportive they're, they're they are just excellent Tell excellent us, people excellent to work with without uh, mentioning names do they mostly come from this area yes okay and so yes. you have people who are grounded and based here and, yes. and you know their background. You've probably scrutinized them with a fine tooth comb. Mm -hmm. You won't find an affair happening in your school. You and won't they, go, find they go to many different, well, I can't say anybody's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to go down that road right. because, you know, what's the Bible say about falling? You sure, know, if yeah, you're not we careful. don't want to be proud. Yeah. But we've not had any incidences yes. like yes. that, okay? okay? And they're all... Um, let me think right now. All of our staff is married. Okay. And family, family, family oriented. oriented. They That's all good. attend a local church. Good. That's a prerequisite. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Good. Accountability again right. from the church, from the parents, from the school board, from the family, and of Correct. course the school. Correct. Tell me one need that you have that if there's somebody watching that if you had a wish list and this is the one thing that you really through this past year have learned that you really could use either facility-wise, either you know, activity-wise, staff-wise? Is there well, anything Well, we, we want to get that learning center. That learning that's, center. that's the big thing on the agenda. Okay. So we can even help more meet the individual okay. needs gotcha. uh, of our students. That's excellent. Um, so that, that is number one right now. Good. You know what? Uh, Let's pray for that. Okay. Let's pray for that. I'd like to pray right. and agree with you on this. Father God, we thank you for the increase that you have had at this school. We thank you, Lord, that it bears your name, Christ, Christian. And therefore, Father, we know that this is a school whose umbrella is covered. The covering of this school is our Lord and Savior. So, Father, right now, Randy and I are standing in agreement with everyone here at the station, those watching, those that are just maybe thinking of pursuing this school with, for their children. Father, we believe that you, as you have already expanded in so many ways, there are many children who need that gifted extension, those who need individual help, a individualized uh, education plan, an IEP. Father, thank you that you will make a way when there seems to be no way. Thank yes. you that there is already yes. someone staff-wise in mind. And Father, we believe that financially you're going to help not only those who are already there, but for perhaps those who are just watching right now that might sow into this. And so, Father, thank you in advance, according to your word, Mark 11, 24, we pray believing as if it's already done. Yes. For those children that will be in the gifted program, individual programs, thank you, Lord God, and thank you for this vision. For where there is no vision, the people perish, and you're mm. already raising this up. And this is your purpose, your plan, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. Yep. Awesome. And then, um, you know, we'd like to just get more students so we can expand. Sure. We've already expanded the curriculum. Yes. And uh, I've been adding classes. We've gone to a block schedule. Oh, I love that. Uh, Explain is, what that is for well, those that don't know. They have like four classes a day on an every other day every rotating other day. basis where they're like an hour and a half long yes. to give us more time for science labs and yes. more time for things like that. And uh, that also helps lead to some more individual instruction sure so the teacher has more time to deal with students who are you can spend so much time just in and out of the just the transition from mm -hmm. the classes. You get your books out, you get involved, and all of a sudden the 45, 48 yeah, minutes right. are up. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Block schedule gives the extended time yeah. every other day. And what we found out was they can actually earn eight credits a year instead of a oh. seven conventional, so they can actually earn a credit extra Perfect. per year. So, so theoretically, they might graduate, what, in three and a half years? They could, they could if they entered as a freshman. And, yeah. And get, well, we have but certain requirements. They have to have four years of English. They have to have four sure. years of Bible. Sure. So, you know, things like that. We also have academics. We have fine arts. We'd like to, you know, if we have more students, yes. we can, then we can expand those programs. Yes. We have an elementary music program. Good. And uh, we have an elementary music teacher who's Excellent. very well known in the area. Oh, I love um, this. Just so, sounds I want to come visit. I want to see the school. Absolutely. I want to come give Anytime. a personal little, yeah. Maybe I can even give you a little motivational speech to the yeah, teachers sure. there. Sure. Okay. Anytime. It's, 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 I love Christian education. Uh -huh. I, I went to a public school. I accepted the Lord as my Savior back when I was a, a senior in high school. Wow, that was hard back in a public in the early, school of 900. Yeah, oh. well, 
Yep. And, and wow. Uh, but God was good. He found me anyway. Yeah. Can't hide. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so he was very good to me. And, Excellent. And then uh, our hometown church where I was saved under their ministry, they started a Christian school. They were going oh. to start one the year after I graduated. And the pastor said, hey, I know you played ball at the public school. Wow. Why don't you be our coach? And so that was my introduction to Christian education. Unreal. And then both of my younger brothers ended up uh, enrolling in that school that is great and attended that Christian school so that that's what got me started in Christian education <gasps> that's and then wonderful a couple of years later I started praying about what the Lord wanted me to do and I went off to Bible College mm -hmm. and uh, and he convicted me that I needed to be a teacher and a coach mm -hmm. and athletic director and now I, now I'm just a mean old principal for the last <laughs> 10 years but <laughs> and all of the above because the principal is the one that has to get all of that together and you deserve a break today so let's hear it where are you headed and what are you going to do for a little rest and recuperation well, our summer hours have cut way back, so, yes. and we are, I'm going to be on vacation next week. I want you to just gonna, tell us a little bit where we, you're going. Uh, We're planning on going to Branson for a mm -hmm. couple of days. My married, both my married children, the one that's in the Air Force uh -huh. in South Carolina, and our married daughter in North Carolina, they're coming up, and we're going to go to Branson, to Branson. Uh, for a while, Good. And, and then we're going to come back and uh, rest a day, and then we're, we've got a cabin mm -hmm. uh, reserved on a little local lake. Uh, for the next couple of days. So, See, this is the balanced life people need to see and to live. And I know that in education you get a little break in the summers, mm -hmm. but the other part of this, and this is to all of you watching too, first of all, if you've never trusted in Christ as your Savior, if you don't know what it's like to have this joy and peace in the midst of chaos, in the midst of storms, in the midst of wearing a thousand caps and running to and fro, feeling like the burden of the world is on you, <laughs> Jesus said, take my yoke because it's easy. It's it's light, and it is. And if you've never accepted Christ, this is your opportunity. Amen. We make it too hard, don't we, Randy? We do. We, we complicate it, too, it. We do as we adults. All you know, little, little. No, and what we do is we think we have to do something to earn it when yeah. Christ has already done it all. Right. By he's sacrificing him, so he's paid the price. All we have to do is accept him. And believe that. And believe Step him. out in faith yep. and believe it. That's it. And just say, Lord, I want you to be Lord of my life. If you're really real, Come on, be the Lord of my life. That's right. And when you do, get into the Word and just read what Jesus did. And, you know, some of the truth that is put into us comes back. His Word mm -hmm. does not come back void. Right. Well, um, Quincy Christian School is the best opportunity in yes. this area for Christian parents to get their children a Christian education. That's great. Now, we know there's a lot of wonderful churches. They do yep. a good job, but they only have them for an hour on that's Sunday right. mornings Bring them and maybe the a little bit on Wednesday nights, and, and that's it. Let's and give the phone number so, again. How can they get uh, The phone number at Quincy Christian School is 217-223-5698. There it is on the screen. And yes. You can call me anytime. Uh, if I'm not there, there's always a message, or my assistant principal is there, good. or uh, our secretary is there you know during the school year and, and get there before than, July 1st more than glad to talk to you <laughs> and you get yeah. the extra quarter free if you qualify qualify if you qualify okay. you get the free extra quarter uh, there's ways to reduce your tuition and Excellent. Christian education doesn't cost it pays it pays, it pays I love it the, I it pays do. in the long run the dividends really and investments does. you'll never be able I to I have purchase. three children and uh, all three of them are grown now, and all three of them never went to anything but a Christian school, K Thank through 12, and how much is that worth? Wow. You know? Thank you so much, Randy, for being with us. God bless you. Randy Thank Peterson you for having from me. Quincy Christian School. Consider it, folks. Pray for them, even if you have no children, and yes. to God be the glory. Dr. Pepper, shaking this off. Thank you. You've been watching Outreach Connection. If you would like to contact this ministry, you may write Outreach Connection, Care of CTN, WTJR, 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois, 62301. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio location, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to noon on Friday.